When you think of a back roll, you probably associate it with a basic trick from the very beginning of your kiteboarding career. Did you know, once you've mastered an unhook back roll and want to build on this trick, there are at least three different fundamental back row variations you must be able to perform in both directions. In this tutorial, we will take a look at all three basic variations of the unhook back roll. Let's go! Let's go! Peace everyone, welcome back to the channel and thanks for tuning in again. It's super cool to see all your smiling faces. Well, in today's video I would like to talk about the back roll. And the weird thing about the back roll is that there is one name for many different types of back rolls. If you think about the front roll for example, you have the S-bend, you have the front flip, you have the front roll and in the back roll you only have a back roll? No, of course not. Depending on the trick you want to do, you need a different type of back roll. If you want to do a counter rotation like a back roll to blind or a KGB, you need a different type of back roll than you might need for a back mope or a Hinterberger mope. And it is extremely important to train all these different types of back rolls straight from the beginning on to both sides. As I told you already in another video, a strong and high tower needs a very strong fundament. So the better you want to get in kiteboarding, the more important it is to really have a lot kind of to really have all these different types of rotations in your muscle memory. It just makes it easier to understand the whole and bigger picture faster. Let's jump straight into the tutorial. Let's start the tutorial by taking a look on my freestyle basic trick chart. The back roll is positioned above the rally on the trick chart, which is theoretically correct. However, in practical terms, for most riders, an unhook back roll is often easier to learn than a rally. This is because, due to the rotation direction of the back roll, most riders find it easier to execute the entire etching process more intensively. The back roll can mainly be performed in three different variations. An inverted rotation initiated directly while taking off. A stretched out rotation also initiated during the takeoff. And a stretched out rotation initiated with a delay after the takeoff, also known as a Hinterberger or laid back roll. It's crucial to practice and understand all three variations equally from the beginning on to both sides. This will enhance your overall body knowledge and you will save a lot of time in future. But how do they work? Approach the trick at a moderate speed. Fly the kite at 45 degrees or slightly higher. Ride downwind, unhook and calf strongly into the wind. As the kite's pull becomes too strong to handle, release the edge over the back foot and look over your front shoulder. Now you have to decide whether you want to perform an inverted back roll or a stretched out back roll. For the inverted back roll, pull the bar towards your hip, tilt your head back and push your legs upward. This will help you to stay compact and to get your feet above your head. Focus your landing spot as early as possible, the rest will happen naturally. Land downwind, absorb the landing, hook back in and ride away. To execute a stretched back roll, you have to stretch yourself out completely right after releasing the edge and rotate around your own axis. Again, it's important to focus your landing as early as possible to time the rotation correctly. The rest will follow naturally. Land downwind, absorb the landing, 
hook back in and right away. Now let's have a look on the laid back roll. This variant differs from the others and is probably the most challenging because you have to leave the water first then initiate the rotation. Again, approach the trick at a moderate speed with a kite at 45 degrees or slightly higher. Ride downwind and unhook. Edge hard and strong into the wind until the kite's pull becomes too strong. The crucial difference is releasing over the back foot like a rally and not looking over the front shoulder yet. Once you're in the flying phase of the trick, start rotating by twisting your head first into the back rotation. You really have to force your body throughout the full 360 degrees back row rotation. The more intensely you throw your body into the rotation, the faster and easier it will be. Again, focus on your landing spot as early as possible. This will help you to complete the rotation. Land downwind, absorb the landing, hook back in and ride away. What are common mistakes to avoid? When it comes to the back roll, I basically see one common mistake that can happen quickly. Many riders steer the kite upward while rotating. This is normal in the beginning as your brain needs to learn that rotation and kite control are two separate things. Once you redirect the kite beyond the senate, you lose control over both the rotation and landing. So it's crucial to focus on the steering of the kite more downward than upward. A helpful technique is to look at the front hand on the bar before unhooking and move the fingers twice quickly. This helps to connect your brain better with the hand you want to pull. <laughs> well, I bet not everything was new for you. Most of you might have done a few of these back row variations already on the water. On one side you have the practical part on the water where you just do it and on the other side you have the theoretical part that helps you to understand the connection between all these tricks better and better. And to me it was always very important to understand how all these tricks are connected. And as I told you already the higher the tower is you want to build, the stronger the fundament needs to be. That means like the higher your kiteboarding tower should be one day, the more important it is to keep training the basic tricks and to have as many different basic tricks as possible in your muscle memory. That will never be enough. I'm a hundred percent sure. So train it to both sides straight from the beginning on and, um, yeah, understand the importance of these basic tricks. As always, I'm a writer who's doing videos for writers. So if I forgot something, please drop it in the comment section below. If you have any tips for the community, something that helped you to nail the tricks faster or to understand it better, please, please share it as well with the community. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you soon for my next video. Peace.